Neil Grove for Woe TV here with Patrick Vallier. Comment allez-vous? Très bien, mon ami. Très ça bien. Va, Merci. Ça va. Yeah, uh, that's as good as my French is ever going to get, uh, unless we're going to talk naughty. Like, uh, um, voulez-vous les submissions? Uh, Soumission, chaos. Uh, je veux tout passer. <laughs> Submission, knockout. I want to pass it all. Fantastic. Listen, I really, really, really uh, enjoyed that fight. I didn't want it to end. Uh, being a striker myself, watching guys roll from one submission attempt out of it into the next one the way you two were carrying on there i was hoping it would be a, a decision at the end of the day but uh you, you ended up winning there fantastic well done uh, tell me uh, how did you prepare for this fight well uh, the fight was noticed uh, three days ago so i couldn't prepare prepare for this fight but i'm always training you know i'm always uh let's say 70 percent so I could do the fight because I'm training all the year, all the time. So you took this fight on three days' notice? Yes, yes. Well, that was a really tough fight. Uh, and uh, uh, l like I said, uh, it was amazing to watch. It, it ended up uh, very quiet. Nobody knew what happened there. You took him into an arm bar. Uh, tell us how that happened. Um, in fact, he, he sweeped me. And then uh, I hold uh, the Kimura, you know, uh, giving him some kind of... Uh, of mount position, you know he was going to mount, but I, with that Kimura I can sweep, it's a way for sweep, submission, I can do a lot of things, so I was on the Kimura, uh, taking care in case, in case he wanted to, to mount, then I, I used the Kimura to switch him, and I rolled to the, to the armbar because he held his hand, when he held his hand, I said, okay, let's do it, let's do it. It's one of the game, you know, of the plans of the game. Well, so so with, with, with jiu-jitsu, it's like a chess match. So you, you, you try something, if it's not coming on, the next thing comes on. Uh, do you train in jiu-jitsu? Yes, yes, I train jiu-jitsu. I'm more nogi, you know. Nogi? More without gi, but... Do you have any judo being from France? Long time ago, when I was a child, you know, in France, every kid starts with jiu-jitsu. That's exactly what I thought, because <laughs> you, you, you were throwing him and you were... Your balance is really good with that too. Yes. Do you uh, train in your striking a lot? Yes, but well, for the balance, it was more training the wrestling for the MMA with uh, my friend and coach Ginta Razinlinska, you saw him in my yes. corner. You know, I fight for haute tension. I have another coach who is Jean-Marie Marché. But for now, it's been two months I've been training a lot with Ginta. They're both very important for me, Jean-Marie Marché and Ginta Razilinska, you know. So the wrestling and the boxing, it's things we've been training together oh, with Ginter. Now, is this your first fight in the UK? No, it's the second one. Second one. The first fight I did, it was eight years ago in the old Ultimate Combat. Right, that was before I started fighting. So, yeah, it, eight years ago. You didn't get a good response from the crowd, but they all did applaud you right at the end. I'm sure you gained a lot of fans and, f and friends tonight. Well, I, I knew that I'm not going to be the favorite of the crowd because uh, I'm French, we're in England. So does it, does it affect you? No, no, you know, uh, for me what is important is that the crowd loves the sport. Yes. And that's the thing. So, like me or not, you know, you like the sport. It's much more important. Well, I am looking forward to seeing you fight again and hopefully it's very soon with Bama again. Onwards and upwards, uh, thank you very much for your time. <laughs>